Hello, welcome back to my channel. Guys, I am back with my very first um, Paint Gym unboxing. I'm very excited to show you guys this. I had went to Paint Gym to, and by the way, if you're interested in ordering anything from Paint Gym, just go to paintgym.com and you'll be able to pull it up. They're all over social media. I'm sure you've came across them before or I'm sure you've seen others unboxing um, things that they've purchased from Paint Gym. But this is my very first order from Paint Gym, so I'm very excited to bring this to, this guy, this to you guys and uh, to see what we have inside, okay? Now, I have to admit, I did do a video with Paint Gym unboxing this, but something happened. Yeah, that's, I guess, that's like my normal. This is like my third time having to do a, redo a video. <clears throat> but anyway, I am back. We're trying, we're going to try this again and hopefully everything will go through smoothly and you'll be able to see what I have, which I'm very excited to show you guys, but it is from Paint Gym and this is the cocktails edition. Now I did go to Paint Gym one time before to order this kit, but they were sold out. And so it finally came back in stock, so I was able to jump on it. So I think it's still in stock. So if you're wanting this kit, just go to Paint Gems and you should be able to find it um, there easily if it's not out of stock. Okay, so I'm like super duper um, excited to show you guys what I have inside. Okay, so let's get this opened again. It's called Paint Gem. I keep wanting to put an S at the end of gym, but no. Just paint gym, that's it. So here's the inside of the box right here. And they have like different scenes, relax through creativity. And that's what's in the box. So let's sit that down. Okay, these are the drills. We'll go through these in just a second. They also provide us with this canvas bag and inside it has some of you know our kit that we need to get started so it, it ba basically everything that you need to put this together is inside this box so let's open it up and see what we have okay we have our boat or our tray okay I'm gonna move this right there we have our boat our tray we have our pen with the squishy. I have these two. Okay. We have our tweezers. And these are plastic tweezers. Then we have our wax and it's a heart wax very very cute and then i think we have some placers yeah we have two placers here very nice so that it comes in this nice canvas bag good quality too you can reuse this that's what i'll be doing so yeah so let's put all that back in there and um just the tip what i normally do especially for the new uh diamond painters such as myself i normally any my extra trays um i, I i'll when I'm working on a painting, I will have these trays out because like if I have any kind of bad drills, I will put them in one of these trays and then trash them afterwards. So I'll put the, I'll have a, a empty tray out and I'll just put my um, bad drills inside um, this tray or any drills that like, if they are a certain color and they're, they stick together, like, let me show you guys, I'll give you an example. I'm working on my Wonder Woman kit and and my Wonder Woman canvas and some of the drills are sticking together 
And so I don't have time to kind of pick them apart, you know, because once I'm working, I like to keep working without stopping. So if you can see these drills here, I'm gonna try to zoom in. You see they're stuck together. And so when I'm working on that kit, I will just put those drills in one of my bolts and then I'll deal with them later. But th this is where I keep them. And I'll just keep them there until I have time to, to um, break them apart. Okay, so that's another idea you can use with your empty trays or any kind of trash drill. So any drills that just not going to work, you know, you put them in there and then you can trash them afterwards. So that's what I kind of use my extra trays with. And then a lot of people use them, you know, when they're working on multiple um, colors, they line them up and put different colors in each one of the bolts too as well. So just a suggestion okay now let's look at our canvases okay now i have to i have to say something okay to all of my professional diamond painters my more experienced di diamond painters you guys what you guys do is it's so it's, it's really funny because i laugh because you, this just shows what an amateur i am but um, the canvases I've completed so far, the dimensions have been anywhere between 35 by 35 centimeters and 30 by 40 centimeters. Uh, the diamond painting community call those snacks. I mean, they're, they're just on the small side. They're on the tiny, tiny, tiny side, you know, so they call them snacks. Even my Wonder Woman painting that I'm working on right now, she is... She is 51 by 76 centimeters. Some diamond painters, the more experienced ones, they don't even work with that size. They say that size, again, is too small because to them, it doesn't show a great definition or bring out the picture, you know, the detail of the picture. So they don't even work with that size. They go above that size, right? And I'm like, what? <laughs> uh, no, no, not here, not this beginner, okay? So the paintings that I have been working on, my 35 by 35 centimeters and my 30 by 40, I call those entrees, baby, okay? Th those are entrees, all right? All right? This here, what I'm about to show you guys here, to me, this is a snack. This is the snack, okay? And my Wonder Woman painting, okay? Now that's a buffet, okay? <laughs> that's a buffet, all right? I'm just saying, okay? Those are my categories, all right? But to the most, the more experienced diamond painters, this is probably like a Tic Tac, I guess. I don't know, I don't know. But to me, this is the snack, all right? So let's open this up and uh, go through these guys. And they are so adorable, okay? Now these are partials. And partials are when you're only diamond painting a portion of the picture. So basically the background is not diamond painted. It's just a white canvas, that's all it is. You're only diamond painting this port right here. So I would consider this a partial, okay? We get, fifth, I'm sorry, 12 diamond paintings in this kit and they're all of drinks, okay? So what I would like for you guys to do is while we're going through these paintings, I want you guys to tell me what is your favorite cocktail drink? What is your favorite mixed drink? I, I, I wanna know, I wanna know what is your favorite mixed drink? I am curious, okay? So anyway, it comes in this little folder here and then it just has, you know, different information on it what's included, you know, how to get started. So it continues on this side and then tips and tricks. Okay. And then of course you have that barcode if you need any help. So the QR code, I love that. So let's go through the different drinks that we have here and also they have the different drinks on back of the the sleeve here 
okay? So we're going to go through these drinks and see what we have. So the first one here is a Bloody Mary. Look how bright and vibrant these colors are. This, and, and just, I'm, I'm gonna zoom in because I want you guys to see how clear the um, drill, um, oh, it, it was already zoomed in. But see how clear the drill feels are? Very nice, very nice. So we're going to go through these drinks that we have here. I'm gonna move this to the side, okay? So the first one is a Bloody Mary. So this is the Bloody Mary. Here is the martini and I, you know what? I'm in between martinis and margaritas. So I normally go back and forth between those two as my favorites. But the martinis I like are chocolate martinis and uh, apple martinis. Those are the two martinis I like. I, I have an advance to just the regular martinis, you know, but those are the ones I like, but this is the martini. Here is the pina colada. I love the pina colada. Very, very um, delicious as well, but it's not one of my favorite drinks. <clears throat> it's not one of my favorite drinks. And then we have the mata. This is the Mata. I love that little flower they have right here. Love it, look at the cherry. And I'm thinking that's like a pineapple right there. This is the Mata. And then we have the Tequila Sunrise. Who likes the Tequila Sunrise? I cannot wait to start working on these. It's going to be so much fun. Now this drink I had never heard of before. I had never heard of this drink before. And th they're calling this one is a Cuba Libre. I had never heard of that one before. I might have to try this one. Okay. This is a Spritz. Gotta try this one. I haven't tried this one yet either. And here is the Margarita. <laughs> Yes, now normally with the margaritas, I like strawberry margaritas. Uh, I like the strawberry margaritas or sometimes the, sometimes the mango margarita. I love those. I love anything that's sweet. I'm a sweet drinker. Okay, here is the Cosmopolitan. Love it too. This is Six, six on the Beach. And then you have Old Fashioned. Never tried this before either, but it looks delicious. And last but not least, we have the Blue Lagoon. The Blue Lagoon. So those are the 12 canvases we have. These are going to be very, very fun to work on, guys. So now let's look at the drill colors. I think we have 20 drills, and what I love about these, they are already in the Ziploc bags. And I love it because any extras that I have, I store in my Ziploc bag. So I'm glad they're already, already there. So that's nice. And here are the different colors. I'm gonna turn them over so we can see the different color numbers. Okay, so this one here is number 815. This is 815. Here you have 304. Then you have 747. Thirty-seven sixty-six. 3766, 
3078, that buttery yellow, 307, mm, very buttery yellow, 5200, 5200, this number, 995, 347, 907, 905, 742, 741, 601, 605, 3810 and 740. So those are all the colors. There's a total of 30. And so, yeah, guys, I am excited. If, again, if you guys want this set, go to paintgym.com and you should be able to find it there if it's not sold out. Like I said, the first time I went to look for it, it was sold out, but then it came back in stock. So even if it does sell out, they normally put it back in stock pretty quickly, okay? So that's that. Again, thank you so much for coming back and joining me again. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Leave me a comment and let me know which is your favorite drink. Now, if you are not drink, if you are not a drinker, say like you like virgin drinks. If you could get this in a virgin drink, which one would you get? Let me know. Let's let each other know what is our favorite drink. And you you can have multiples. You can go my my you can do first, second, and third choice. You know, but just let me know and I'm um, just put it down in the comments. And again, thank you guys for coming back and watching me. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.